Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your crankshaft sensor on this Suzuki Swift. This one was quite challenging actually, it was actually seized. So as you can see it's the crankshaft sensor. Let's push this tab in. Push this yellow tab out. Now we need a T30 star talk to remove that bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, once you've loosened it with your ratchet, screw it out like so. You need to move this back and forth like that just to get it moving and then pull it out you might need to use a little prize bar so I can put that so um, as you can see I've lubricated it out because it doesn't seem to want to come out oops it's coming out but In a case and it's stuck in there, so I'm gonna have to remove that. So you can see this is a new one that we're gonna be fitting, and as you can see, that one's broken off. As you can see, it's the outer casing, so yeah, you should be able to get that out. Just warm that up a little bit, but obviously, not this one, but inside, and the plastic should soften up and just pull it out. As you can see, I've got the plastic there out of it. Right, now I've got a new sensor. I'm gonna put that in there. So I've now tightened that as well. Now all we've got to do is put this plug back in. Basically, it really. Thank you for watching. As you can see, the reason why I changed the crank soft sensors is because the car kept on starting and cutting out. As you can see now, the car is running. Thank you, and thank you for choosing Gab Official. Please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed, keep on rolling. Boom.